Our next guest speaker received his Doctor of Pharmacy degree from the University of Southern California and is also a registered pharmacist. Over 12 years at A400 Bed Tertiary Teaching Hospital as Director of Pharmaceutical Services, Adjunct Assistant Professor of Pharmacy Practice at USC. He was a Senior Vice President of Professional Services for National Pharmaceutical Company, currently the Chief Corporate Science Officer of Max International, Dr. Scott Nagasawa. Happy New Year, everyone. Max Morning. Now that 2020 is behind us, I am looking forward to 2021. With the approval of three COVID vaccines and several more pending, I am optimistic that the coronavirus will be controlled and life will return back to normal later this week. Due to unforeseen supply issues, 2020 was a challenging year for the production of the MAX products. However, our logistics department did a wonderful job in making the necessary adjustments to ensure the availability of our MAX products. Despite these challenges, rest assured that the manufacturing and the quality of our products has never been compromised. One of the many highlights for Max last year was a growing interest in the ribosine technology from academic researchers all around the world. We set a record with eight published peer-reviewed studies in 2020, bringing our total to 37 peer-reviewed publications on ribosine. For those of you interested in the list of these studies, they are available on the Max website. The most recent animal models have demonstrated that ribosine can reduce oxidative stress in several different chronic disease models, which we hope will lead to third-party funding for a future human clinical trial. So one of our goals for 2021 is to identify and work with one or more research collaborators to test ribosine in a human clinical trial for one of these chronic diseases. Thanks to these recent publications, there has been a surge of interest by the scientific community about the potential benefits of ribosine as an effective glutathione enhancer. Scientific validation has always been my objective and emphasis, as I am convinced that dietary supplement companies cannot survive the scrutiny of a growing, sophisticated, educated consumer without having products with solid science. As a company, we must invest the time and money to support quality research, which will then be published in peer-reviewed international journals so we can earn the respect of the scientific community. Given this growing interest by healthcare professionals for the ribosine technology, I'm excited to make this special announcement. I think all of you know Dr. Jeanette Roberts, Dr. Roberts was the graduate student under my father, Dr. Herbert Nagasawa, and did her PhD thesis on the ribosine technology. She is former Dean at the University of Wisconsin School of Pharmacy, and I am thrilled that Dr. Roberts has agreed to serve as a consultant on our research and development team. And our first priority is to produce an educational video on the ribosine science. Also at the end of the month, Max will be putting on a medical symposium. And I am honored to be a speaker alongside Dr. Margie Smith, a molecular geneticist who will be speaking on genomic wellness and the immune system. Such a relevant topic in light of the ongoing COVID pandemic. If you know any medical professionals uh, that might be interested in this online event, please encourage them to sign up. Hope you find this kickoff event full force to be inspiring, educational, and most importantly fun. So sit back uh, and enjoy. Hey, by the way, they are building a Jolly Bee restaurant just a few blocks away from our office here in Southern California. And I'm looking forward to some chicken joy, one of my favorite fried chickens. My father sends everyone his regards. Happy New Year. Please stay safe and healthy. Rami Salama. A big hand for our Corporate Chief Science Officer, Mr. Scott Nagasawa. At this point, we come to one of 